Many said the site wasn't suitable for a camp, deep in the desert of North Jordan. But a year on, Zatri is a bustling settlement carved into the sand. At the start, the goal was to provide a temporary home for a few thousand refugees. Today, Zatri is a sprawling nine-kilometer settlement, the second biggest refugee camp in the world. What this um, piece of Jordanian desert has, has offered the Syrian population is the means to be safe. Uh, we've, in the last 12 months, we've, we've accommodated 350,000 Syrians, uh, 200,000 of which have subsequently moved on into the urban environment. We've got anywhere between 120 and 150,000 people now, but it's served its job. The day-to-day -day running of a camp of this scale is a massive operation. More than 500,000 loaves of bread and over 3.8 million litres of water are distributed here every day. And the site continues to expand, made possible by the generosity of donor nations. This Ramadan, the Gulf nation of Kuwait donated $47 million for shelter, health and sanitation. It's funding that improves the lives of families like Sultan's. شيء أكيد إنه إحنا بأمان هون عشان أول شغلة إنه شرط حدودي ودولة ثانية ما بقدرش إنه يقصف عليها أو يضرب عليها عشان يعني هاي بالبداية وبالنهاية كنا إحنا اللي دايرين عليها وبدنا نوصلها إنه نأمن من شقشيم إنه الأولاد يكونوا بأمان والكبارية يكونوا بأمان هاي هي بس يعني أهم شيء إنه الواحد يكون محافظ على أولاده وعلى عائلته وعلى in its one year in operation, Zatri can claim that it is a place that has kept people alive. It's important to recognize that one year afterwards, a lot has been done. Uh, education, health, uh, shelter, water, sanitation, all these things have improved. But let's be clear, not only there is still a lot to do, but even if Zatri would be perfect, it would always be an horrible place to live. Uh, a refugee camp uh, is never a solution. Indeed, Zatri's anniversary is a bittersweet time. No matter what's achieved, the camp is a reflection of an ongoing tragedy. No one here is hoping for a second anniversary.